morning guys all right what a good way to start your day we got a load going that went to um i'll come up here to south dakota i can't really figure out how to pronounce the name b b r e s b e r e s f o r d south dakota right up off in 29 uh, exit 47. It's a load of tires anyways. So we get up here. We go inside. We get checked in. This little leprechaun guy just starts yelling at me. You're late. You're late. I was like, no, sir. I said, my appointment's at 8 o'clock and it's 745 right now. You're late. You're supposed to have been here at 6 o'clock. You're late. I'm, I'm, I'm fed up with it. Blah. And then he was going off. And he's like 5'5", five, five, maybe 5'4". Five, Here I am, 6, 300 pounds. And it's like, dude, I can kick you like a damn football. Shut the hell up. I mean, I didn't say that. That's what I was saying in my head. So anyway, so after they get it all sorted out, they he, he Mr. Brave Man earlier, you know, just like I was telling you, five minutes earlier, he was all ready to, all ready to take me outside and whip me around. <clears throat> well, once they figured out that they screwed up on their end, he couldn't even come over and apologize. And I said to the person that came over, I said, that is rude and disrespectful. I'm not happy that this guy would do something like that. You know, that he would just go off on someone like that until he found out that the ladies up in the office screwed up. I said, well, I don't know what to tell you. I said, I don't like being yelled at for something I didn't do. I am never late on pickup or delivery. I'm actually. So, yeah. So, they're unloading me now. The guy goes, oh, there's going to be a lumper. And I was like, well, whatever. That's, now that's, a, that's a scam in itself right there. But you never have to pay a lumper. They ordered the stuff, they should pay it, not us. Sorry guys, I'm just hungry. We are. Like I said, we got up. We got here. Last night, they say there's parking here, you can park in this lot. But. See that? I zoom out a little bit more, but I got somebody in my, as you can tell, I'm holding somebody. So anyway, so, I didn't want to get stuck in there. So I turned around, and I just went 0.8 miles up the road to the truck stop and stayed there last night. I'm trying to figure out if this guy's going to shut his doors or not. Well. Wow. Let me get back to you in a minute. I'm going to finish my breakfast. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. But yeah. We stopped over here at the Quick Trip in Webster City. Because we wanted to, uh, because we had to pack for the night real quick. Because I need fuel. And I can't put fuel in until tomorrow. So, guy behind me is mad because I didn't take off and cut cut the cars off so he can go home and drink. So, anyways, I can't put fuel in until tomorrow. So, and we are really, really low. We can't make it to where I want to make it. Want to go to the loves, but we can't make it there. So, anyway, so this quick trip here does not have overnight packing. So, we grabbed ourselves some chicken, some macaroni and cheese, and a loaf of bread. And we are going to go up here to this other truck stop, which 
I went by and looked at it, and I'm not impressed, but I'm hoping that the diesel is cheap over there. I don't turn right on red, so if you guys are wondering why I'm still sitting here, because I don't, I don't turn right on red. Just my preference. Because you never know, you know. These people see you and then all of a sudden, you know, they... Then they all of a sudden they found out where their pedal was and... Then they come... Hauling up to you. And... Well, we don't need that, right? So they got this old Kmart right here. But it says no... Absolutely no truck packing, which kind of stinks because they had a Chinese restaurant right there. That would have been nice. So we're going to go over here to this, I think it was a BP. And like I said, not impressed by the look of this place. The driveway is nothing but dirt and mud. And I don't see how... They can, you know, I don't know. I just, it's me. I'm, I'm real picky. Look, look both ways, lady. Look both ways. Look both ways. Look both ways. <laughs> Jesus. Jumped up Christmas Eve. Unbelievable. I'm, oh, I tell you. See? I, I didn't even turn right. I just going straight down the road, and she just, oh, well, I look to the left, I mean to the right. I don't need to look to the left, should I? No, no, you don't need to look over there. You don't need to look over there, you're fine. Now, let's see. Well, actually, there's a spot right there. Maybe we can back into that one and park next to that bobtail. So we cannot have to park... Over here. See, now this is what I hate about backwards truck stops. Half the pumps are down. Actually, all the pumps are down. Nice. See? This, this is... Oh, my freaking lord. I gotta lean to the left so I can get some fuel to the driver's side. It shouldn't even be in the, in the book. I mean, this, this, is, this is like absolutely disgusting. It's so stupid, I'll tell you. What I hate about backwards truck stops. I'm gonna I'm gonna start up a truck a truck stop, but I'm not gonna have nothing in it. Look at this, you can't even make this turn. Jesus, jumped up Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness gracious. I wanna miss that hole. Alright. Now this place ain't even ain't even here. So I don't even know why it would even be in the truck stop book or anything. So I need to try to make it over there to the quick trip in the morning, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit in there, but we're gonna give it a try. We are gonna try and see what happens. So anyways, yeah, so we need to make it over there to the quick trip in the morning. Quick trip over there um, is 375 a gallon. And that's no discount. That's just, we're not going to make this turn. No, we're not going to make this turn. Uh, let's see. If we can figure it out. Uh, I don't want to go back in. Might have to, though. All right, let's go out here just a little bit. Keep our eyes up the road. Well, there's a hotel. That'd be nice to go stay at. But I kind of wanted I was hoping to be able to get a shower in the morning. But I guess that ain't going to happen. Yeah, this ain't going to happen either. All right. 
All right, we can't make it, so I guess we got to go back around again. All right. Dang it. See, that's why you don't want to... All right, let's see. Uh, I don't that yeah, I don't wanna pack next to a bow hauler. Alright. Well, nobody coming, so no. <coughs> and I guess we can just pack next to this bow hauler and not worry about it, I guess. It's a nice KW. Not not the studio sleeper, but it's not too bad looking. I just don't like how short the how small the uh sleeper is. So anyway, so that's what we're doing right now, guys. We are just going to be backing in here. And try not to get too close to the KW. Come on, turn around. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Turn it, Terry, turn it. Damn it. This thing is it's not. Come on. You put it in reverse. I mean, it's a drive and it goes into neutral. Like it automatics. Suck. What did they say? Back her up, Terry. Back it up. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, uh, burp in your ear. All right. All right. We got the KW cleared. We got the box truck over here. I mean, the dry trailer cleared. Okay. We just get in here and go a little bit more. Cut it around. And then we're going to go up a little bit in a minute. All right. Now we go up. Cut it around, because see, it's like 80 miles to get to the Loves. Nice, I got 500 and, well, I don't know yet. This uh, GPS is all screwed up because it wants me to take the ultimate route that it, it wanted me to take, but. All right, let's, let's hope and pray that this thing leans to the left. Let's see. Uh, I don't know, I can't tell. It's not really showing off anything. I don't think it is. Nothing I can do. Like I said, I need fuel. And if I, I just need a little, just some more to go into the left, to the driver's side. So, because like I said, I can't fuel up until tomorrow. And I'd rather pay 375 I don't think it's a discount. Hold on, Maxie. One minute, buddy. We got to do a pre-trip. Now right. leave. We're over there. It's a quick trip. Before we left, we had to, well, we didn't have to, but we checked our oil over there because we were inside for a minute going to the bathroom. So we checked our oil and stuff. And then we did a, we're going to do another light test just to be on the safe side. And then we'll let him go out. All right, let's see, light test. Just so we can look at them real quick. Oh, come on, camera. Okay. Ah, look at that. That's disgusting. Hold on, Max. See that? Look at that. Fucking truck drivers, I'll tell you. 
Let's get some fucking individuals. Alright. Oh. Actually, can you just give me one second, buddy? Hold on, buddy, one minute. I'm going to go around and thump the tires real quick. One minute, baby, one minute. All right, I got to get a GoPro. Leave that alone. Leave it alone. All right. Hey, what's this? Are you serious? Is that just... Hold on, one, oh, you can go right there, buddy. You hold on a minute, Matt. Oh, my God. For a whole year, my power cord did not work. Now it's working. Unbelievable. See, guys? I don't know. I don't, I don't understand this truck at all. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Sorry about that. The uh, camera just stopped. I didn't even realize it. But we walked around. We thumped all the tires. We um, we have a rag that we go around and we wipe off all the reflector tape. Um, we will always wipe off the, the uh, license plate and the light bulb for the license plate. We do the lights. Even even the, the ones on the side, the red and the yellow one. Uh, the one ABS and the regular light one there. Um, then we do the, uh, tape on the back of the doors and on the DOT bumper. And then on the way up, we do the light too on the side of the trailer, the blinker. And then we wipe off the blinker light on the truck. And then wipe off the headlights. And then we do the other one. Then we get in. And like I was saying before the camera shut off, I did not realize that it shut off. And I apologize for that. But a whole year, my power inverter did not work. Now all of a sudden it's working. How screwed up is that, dude, huh? And what I was talking about um, was if anybody's going to be in Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, and you're looking for some good home-cooked food, home cooked food, Quick Trip. Oh, they also call them Quick Star in um, Iowa. I think Minnesota, too. But, um, we got... We got macaroni and cheese. Uh, and we got these big old chicken tenders, three of them. Three big ones. And for a meal, now, you know that those chicken tenders, yes, Max, I will go sit with you. Go ahead. Those chicken tenders at the Flying J, those three would run you about 10 bucks. That macaroni and cheese, that's, that's like, what, three quarters more than what you would get to Flying J. They give you a half an ice cream scoop for fucking ten bucks. I know I'm exaggerating a little bit, but. And this, this macaroni and cheese is good. It's made right then and there. It's good. So if you guys are ever in the area, you guys should stop in. See what you can find. You know, they have, they have everything. They have cheeseburgers. They have tornadoes. They have hot dogs. They have cheese curds. They have uh, deep fried potato spuds, which are delicious. Uh, pizza, fish, chicken, cheeseburgers. Um, they also sell that stuff so you can buy it and cook it on your cook it yourself in your truck if you wanted to. Um, let's say you went there and you wanted, you know, they they have regular chicken, their drumsticks and breasts and thighs. If they don't have that on the shelf, you can always get it cold or frozen and, and then just heat it up in your truck. So, and they also sell milk. Um, they sell half a gallon in a bag. And they have a little container. <sighs> One minute, Maxi. This is what they You give this for, these for free. You put the bag of milk in. You clip it. And then you just... You know, then take the the cup piece if you're done using it, and then you just whoop, put it right in there and it holds it. You put it right in your refrigerator and you're all set. A dollar seventy nine for a half a gallon of milk. 
How much is a half a gallon of milk at the pilot Flying J loves DA? Six to eight dollars a gallon, a half a gallon. And what are they? They're the nastiest milk in the world, Prairie Farms. That milk is so nasty. I mean, it is disgusting. I can't even, I can't even drink the stuff. Yes, I'm gonna go sit with you. This dog is so needy. Oh my goodness. Yes, macaroni. Yes, macaroni. Tell everybody on YouTube how much of a pain in the butt you are. Tell them. The YouTubers. When is Max him a big pain in the butt? But anyways. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Because I've been rambling on. For like six or eight minutes. And didn't even realize that my camera was off. Yeah, I know. I told you. That's why I want a GoPro. I'm going to get one, but not right now. That's not important right now. What's important is I got to... I want that, that headlight. I got to get, get home to pick that up. And I also got new airlines. Um, when I was at, was that? The TA, I believe. They, they moved my airlines for some stupid reason. And they moved it behind the um, handle that you use to get on the back of the truck. And I had just left there and just went and picked up a load. You know, hooked them back on my truck and went and picked up a low wall. What they did is they put the red one, for some reason, behind it. So when I turned it, it just ripped it right out. So I got a fake one of those um, plastic ones on there for right now. But I got a brand new set going to be at the house here pretty soon. <coughs> and um, that's it. Let me let you guys go. And let me know if you guys want me to do vlogs or driving videos or whatever they're called. I'm, yeah, I can't do driving videos. No, I'm sorry. I mean, I could do the super speed up ones, but I can't talk when people... I have a real short fuse for incompetent idiots. So, but just let me know if you guys want me to do any more videos and I'll try to get them, try to do them every day if I can because it's not an inconvenience to me. Um, all right, well, let me let you go. I'm going to go eat my supper before it gets cold. Get ready to talk to the wifey, and then I'm going to go to bed. So we will talk to you guys in a little. I'll uh, talk to you guys next time. Be safe and have fun. Later.